Uh, my name is John Rose. And my name is Joan Weaver. And uh, we've been uh, uh, together for more than half a century. Uh, so we have lots of stories that uh, we, we can both share. This project is about experiences uh, uh, with the police. Uh, hopefully uh, positive experiences, uh, which, of which I have a number of them. My uh, first experiences uh, with, uh, with the police were very positive. Uh, a big piece of the reason for that, I believe, is because I was go uh, going around wearing a Roman collar. And oh my, what a difference that would make. After that time, I moved in differently in a different direction in my life. And, uh, and things changed quite a bit. My wife and I uh, uh, sampled the alternative uh, lifestyles that, was, uh, that were common in, uh, in the uh, in 1970s and, and so on. And um, <clears throat> uh, then, I, then my experiences were quite different. Uh, nothing was uh, uh, very dramatic. I assumed that the, uh, the, the uh, police uh, that I encountered uh, would act in a professional and uh, respectful way. And they usually did. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, my expectation helped a great deal. Um, when we were driving back from California, uh, where we had, had been living, uh, with a, uh, a, a huge trailer of all of our, uh, our possessions, uh, me wearing a great big beard uh, and, uh, um, uh, and drive, driving through New Mexico. Uh, uh, this was like the mid-70s, and we got stopped uh, uh, there. They uh, asked our permission, as they had to, for uh, to to do a search, they let us uh, go and, and but warned us that there would be other stopping points uh, 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 before we got to the other other side of uh, of New Mexico. Uh, the second time we've been pulled over, and the cop said, "Yes, and you're likely to get pulled over some more before you get out of this state." <laughs> so we were so happy to cross over into Texas. <laughs> When we were younger, when we would um, be regarded with suspicion because John had his beard, well, I had long hair and I wore long patched skirts. And, you know, I lo we looked like what people think of as hippies. We didn't think of ourselves as hippies. Uh, we thought of ourselves more as political activists, which were not, and they were not too dear to the police um, at that time either. So, you know, now that we're grandma and grandpa, they tend to be quite respectful and, uh, and, and, and very nice. And, um, that, and I will say that um, I worked for seven years for one of the uh, victim services in, in Lebanon. Um, we were, we, we particularly uh, helped victims of sexual assault. And um, in, in that time, we would have frequent contact with, uh, with the Lebanon police, and they were excellent. However, as a white woman of uh, upper years, I'm not sure that, uh, that, that uh, I could say that everybody who's younger and of color, and, uh, and so I might say the same thing. So this is just uh, my, my personal uh, findings. Thank you.